SpaceX and T-Mobile yesterday announced Coverage Above and Beyond, a new technology initiative to allow Starlink connectivity to regular everyday cell phones. But there's a lot of catches. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you the download on some pretty exciting new technology announced by T-Mobile and SpaceX yesterday in a joint live press conference direct from SpaceX's Starbase in Texas with the Starship rockets standing towering over the stage and T-Mobile CEO Mike Sievert and Starlink SpaceX head engineer Elon Musk came out and jointly announced a technology initiative called Coverage Above and Beyond that would allow Starlink satellites to talk to everyday existing cell phones, eliminating dead zones everywhere. Sounds pretty amazing. Sounds like science fiction. It actually is a little bit of science fiction. Really legitimately exciting, but it is not the first thing that comes to mind for a lot of people. If they're thinking, wow, is this Starlink speeds, a 200 megabits per second, super fast broadband, working down on a phone? Not that at all. And they tried to be clear. You know, Elon and Mike were sharing that this is a plan to bring text messaging, photo messaging, and limited messaging apps to people in places where you have no connectivity at all, where there is no cellular. So you have a backup plan, backup way to get online and do some basics. This is not about general internet and this is not about high speed internet at all. In fact, the connectivity that will be provided by this will, well, the, the amazing thing about it is that they've figured out a way to have it work with everyday cell phones, even older phones, basically any phone that supports LTE band too. So T-Mobile is going to be carving aside a chunk of their spectrum nationwide, a little bit of their 1900 megahertz spectrum and giving it to SpaceX to build into their satellites. So no new phones needed. That's the great exciting part. Um, T-Mobile says this will actually work for free with most of their most popular plans. So no new plans needed. It's just there. So customers will get this feature in the future. But there's now the catches that to do this, the first off, they have to build completely new Starlink satellites. So none of the existing satellites in orbit will have this capability. The new satellites will be the new satellite system will be the Starlink V2 design, which will, in addition to support for all the Starlink satellites and the Starlink broadband and everything that we're used to, will have a new gigantic antenna capable of reaching to cell phones down on Earth. Um, that will fold out in space. So completely new satellites. And, well, then those satellites will be able to spread a broadcast cell down onto Earth that's covering a huge area, you know, maybe 40, 50 miles across. They didn't disclose the size other than saying a lot larger than a normal terrestrial cell. And across that entire area, they will just have 2 megabits to 4 megabits speed to share for everyone. So it's not you know, a four megabits per second connection, well, you can do a little bit of useful stuff with that, but that's not per person. That's everybody in the area sharing that four megabits per second connection. That is why this will be limited to text messaging, photo messaging, basic messaging apps, but the apps will have to be authorized and have to work with T-Mobile to enable support. You will not be browsing the web. You will not be doing video chat. You will not be streaming. You will not be uploading to YouTube. None of that is in the cards with this. So not what pe most people think when they think Starlink in their pocket, but still legitimately exciting technology. Now, the other catch is, well, when can you get it? And this is a big pre-announcement. This is a technology initiative at SpaceX and T-Mobile will be working together to develop this and work on this next generation of Starlink satellites. But they're saying that it will not be ready for beta service until sometime late 2023. They have to wait until, well, basically they're waiting for the next generation of the Starlink satellites, and the next generation of Starlink satellites are dependent on the next generation of SpaceX booster rockets, the um, massive, gigantic Starship booster to and launching system to bring these huge satellites into orbit. These satellites are too big for the current Falcon 9 that's been launching the existing Starlink. So there's a lot of dominoes that need to fall to even get to the beta service that they hope to have ready end of 2023. And then in the years ahead, they actually hope that they'll be able to, you know, ramp it up 
to higher levels, maybe offer voice calling via satellite and maybe a little bit more. But there's still a long way to go and a lot of technology to develop. So, so why announce it now? What's the big deal? And there's a lot of speculation that SpaceX and T-Mobile are doing this to kind of um, you know, seize the, the, the lead in the industry to kind of you know, claim first mover advantage in bringing satellite messaging out and to try and force the FCC, force the FCC's hand in authorizing the use of this cellular spectrum from space, which is currently not allowed. So by announcing this and saying they're going to bring this out to customers, there's a lot of pressure on the FCC to modify the rules around the spectrum that T-Mobile owns to let them do this. And well, there's actually two, potentially three other companies that have similar systems that are in the works. And this lets SpaceX and T-Mobile kind of, you know, seize the lead in a sense. The other two companies we've actually written about and covered in videos in the past are Space Mobile, which just in the next few months is going to be launching a gigantic satellite with a huge antenna that can do cellular broadcasts from space to regular existing phones. Um, and it's going to be tested with carriers in six different countries as they're working on their prototype system. So they've got a lot of carrier deals, including reportedly with AT&T in the United States to do the same sort of thing of eliminate cell dead zones focused on text messaging and basic applications and stuff like this. So AST Space Mobile about to start launching, about to start showing things up. T-Mobile and SpaceX stealing their thunder. A little bit rude of SpaceX because they're actually who uh, Space Mobile's hired to launch their satellites. So we'll kind of see how that plays out when Space Mobile rolls out and starts showing off their prototype. And there's another company um, called Link that is actually not just shown this technology in a lab, but they've actually done a demonstration from space. They're the first company to show a connection from space, sending a text message to a regular unmodified cell phone. They did that last year with a prototype, and they're saying they're going to be ready for actual commercial service in a few countries by the end of 2022. So again, this is trying to steal some of that thunder from another company doing it. And the biggest thunder they might be trying to steal is there's a lot of rumors that the next generation iPhone, the iPhone 14, is going to have satellite SOS text messaging built into it um, using existing satellite spectrum, so no FCC approval required from Global Star. So if that actually gets announced in just a few weeks on August 7th when the new iPhones come out, well, this is just a way for a uh, T-Mobile and SpaceX to jump ahead of Apple, but Apple's super secretive, so we'll have to wait and see what they actually end up announcing and if this is something that comes out. But anyway, it's an exciting time. It's basically we're about to start seeing devices like the Garmin inReach and other satellite messengers become kind of obsolete as satellite messaging in the years ahead becomes something that regular cell phones can do. Super, super exciting that you do not need, even you don't might not even need a brand new phone. Even existing phones might soon be able to talk to space. Just set your expectations properly. This is not broadband. This is not high speed internet from space. This is messaging and the basics. It will get better over time, but they're starting basically kind of at a 2G level and have a long way to go. This does not replace a satellite system like a full-size Starlink. It's not that in your pocket. This is a completely parallel system. It does not replace cellular. Any place there is a cell tower, these systems will still revert to cellular on Earth, but it does get rid of dead zones. It does give you a way to call for help in the middle of nowhere. And for that, this is a good thing, pretty exciting technology, and we're eager to see it roll out. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.